The Salt Yard Cafe and Bar at the Canopy Hotel in Portland just started serving dinner. The chef is Matt Dooley. He's with us in the 207 Kitchen at Old Main Studios. Thanks for coming. What's on the menu today? So tonight we're doing salmon with a brown butter, lemon, and caper sauce. All right, let's get to it so because we'll... uh, I tell you, if there's a seafood dish that's more popular in Maine than salmon, I'm yeah. not sure I know what it is. Lobster. 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 Lobster wins it. But, you know, for a non-crustacean dish. Yeah. So where do we begin? So first thing you're going to want to do is just trim your brussels. Um, it's pretty easy. You just want to take that little stem piece off. Any outer leaves that maybe are a little bit more tough. Right. And then just cut it right in half. And that'll do it. That preps your brussels. Um, so these, for this recipe, we're going to actually pre-roast our brussels. Okay. So a little bit of oil. And then you just want to shake those around. And then we're going to just a little salt and pepper. So we've roasted the Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll, you can pre-roast these and reserve them for when you're actually ready to do okay. the dish. Um, and then once you're ready to, to cook, it should be a nice one pan method. Okay. Um, so while, the, while that pan's heating up just a touch, we'll put a little salt and pepper on these salmon fillets. Yes. And that pan should be right around medium heat because you don't want your butter to actually burn. Um, you're going to start with a touch of just vegetable oil. Um, that'll lower the smoke point of your butter so that way you won't start a butter fire. All right. Um, but you do want your butter to get some color. So we'll put a couple packs of butter in there right now. Mm -hmm. And then we can add our salmon. People and always like to know how much time they should allow for making a dish. What do you figure for this one? These fillets are, are fairly thin. Um, I would say we're gonna wanna sear it on, on each side for about two minutes. Okay. Um, and if you feel like you wanna finish it a little more, that'll give you probably that rare to mid-rare temperature. Yeah. If you wanna cook a little bit more, you're, you're welcome to pop it in the oven briefly to, to bring that temperature up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Little sear on that side. And then we can go ahead and flip it on its, on its side. And you'll want to sear all four sides, and that way you can really do the whole cooking process right in this pan. So once you flip that salmon onto the side, this is when I would start, actually, we're going to add some onions. That's enough onions, and we'll add a little bit of garlic. Okay, cool. This just looks good. And these will uh, we'll toast a little bit in that oil and butter while that salmon's continuing to cook. And it's easy if you try to keep it all, all the vegetable kind of one side, it allows you to flip that salmon in the pan without getting in the way of everything else. And once you flip that on the third side, that's when I would put these Brussels in because they are fully cooked already. You're right. really just looking to, to warm them through. You don't want to get a mushy mat. You that's don't want the, them to be that's mushy. the cardinal sin. That's right. It takes us all back to our childhood. How old were you when you actually first started to enjoy eating Brussels sprouts. It's probably like 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. same for me. It was, it was fairly recent, I remember that. <laughs> I, I can tell you that much. These Brussels, because you probably would roast them right before you wanted to start this recipe, so they were still a little warm. These are actually chilled, but with them being a little bit warm, the next step would be to deglaze this with a little white wine. And then we have this lemon juice, which we have some lemon zest mixed into. Right. So we'll put a little bit of that in there. I'm liking everything that you're putting into this dish. It's, you know, it's, it's bright. Um, there's a, a health aspect to it. Yeah, you got lots of, you got good veg in there. You got, I mean, you got the Brussels sprouts, you got the onions, you got the garlic, it's all good for us. That's right. And then we'll go ahead and Sprinkle some of these capers in there. So because you're putting capers in there, you can go easy on the salt as well because there is a lot of salinity in these capers. Yes. We'll go ahead and let that dill melt its flavor into the rest of the dish. So now we'll turn our heat down. And we're just gonna add a little bit of butter. That'll bring the brown butter, the oil, and everything together. And at this point, you could probably go ahead and take that salmon out and just let it Reserve it and get this all. And at this point, because this, this dish is nice and hot and the pan's nice and hot, you can actually turn your heat off and that'll uh, melt the remaining cooking. butter. Yeah. Once you're at this stage, it's, uh, it's ready to plate. But we'll just keep this nice and, nice and whole. And then I have a little bit of chives. 
It looks good, it smells good, and the recipe for this dish is, of course, on our website and app. Go to newcentermain.com slash 207. You'll find the recipe, you'll find more information about the Salt Yard Cafe at the Canopy Hotel in Portland, where Matt Dooley is the chef. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you. Stay with us. We're going to return with more of 207 in just a moment.